Welcome to this lecture where we'll discuss the four key components of your success. The four pillars are CUQQ or in short SUCK. Yes, I did make this up. I wanted to come up with something that would be easy for you to remember. I think SUCK satisfies this. So look at the individual components. C stands for creativity. In what you're doing you want to set yourself apart from the crowd. Uh, there is great number of contributors who submit their photos. If you manage to stand out by being different, creative, the world is yours. If you already do have your personal style of photography, do not conform to what you see around yourself. Keep your personal style and that is what will set you apart from the crowd. If you don't, then experiment. Try different things, see what appeals to you, see what resonates with you. It's very important that you like the photos you take. Otherwise, this will turn into another job for you and you don't want to do that. Unless you do, of course. How can you set yourself aside? We already discussed your personal style of photography, but you can set yourself aside with the topics you shoot. So let's have a look. One way to set yourself aside from the crowd is to shoot very niche topics. An example I can give for this is uh, I visited a glass blowing factory once and took three photos in total. This is one of them. I made it available online and although the photo itself is not perfect, uh, it sells very well because it covers a very niche topic. When a client searches for glass blowing, there's not many photos available and this one comes up very high in the search, so it's very likely to get some sales. Another thing that increases your sales is variety in your portfolio. I have a lot of, lot of winter themed photos like this one and I also have a lot of summer themed photos which means I'm taking advantage of seasonality. You can also be creative with your keywords. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean with that. This is one of my best selling photos. This single picture made me around thousand bucks. The name of the photo is Galaxy with Stars. In fact, this is not a galaxy. This is picture of smoke I took one day in my kitchen but because it looks like a galaxy, right? And here is where we're being creative with our keywords. We can use keywords that are related to deep space, galaxies, Milky Way and such. Creativity. The second layer of SUCK SUQQ is you, usability. Your pictures need to be useful for someone. It's a good practice to ask yourself, what is this picture good for? How can someone use this photo? And what for? Does this picture illustrate a concept? Does this picture help promote a product? Or is it just a nice background that can be used for web design? It's a good practice to include copy space in your pictures. What do I mean by that? Let's look at this smoky picture again. You can see a blank space that can be used to insert some text. Customers often don't use our photos as they are, but they build something with them. They use them as components in the puzzle of their design. So having a copy space in your photo is a great idea. Another important thing to keep in mind is how does your photo look when it's in thumbnail size? So if you try using let's say Shutterstock from a consumer's perspective, let's search for bananas. It's important to think about what your picture looks like in thumbnail size, if it's too busy, if you can't really recognize what's going on in the picture, nobody's going to buy. People are not going to download your photo because they just don't understand it. You need to catch their eye with simple composition, with pleasant colors, maybe bold colors, depends. If your photo looks terrible in the thumbnail or even worse, if you can't see what it actually is in the thumbnail, you're not going to get much sales. We covered creativity and usability. Now we are left with two cues. The first cue is quality. Here I'm talking about technical quality of your photos. We'll be discussing this in much detail later on in the course. Now just briefly, you need your photos to be sharp, in focus, with no noise, no lens defects and in proper resolution. We'll discuss this more in detail later in the course, so for now just keep this in mind. And the last letter of your suck your four pillars of success is Q again which stands for quantity. Quite simply the more photos you upload the more likely you are to sell. I'll see you in the next video.